Hi there. In this QuickBooks Online video, we'll quickly look at uh, purchases and sales on credit cards, and we'll get to see uh, reconciliation a couple more times. So we'll get to see uh, what a reconciliation is actually like when we have a 30-day trial as opposed to the test drive. So I'm going to quickly create a new account to be used to handle my credit card sales. So that's just a regular bank account. So that'll be a bank that handles your sales um, for you. And you'll get a statement from them which you'll reconcile. So I'm going to just quickly go to my chart of accounts, create a new account. And it's just a plain old bank account, generally checking or savings. So if you're able to write checks on that account, you can use checking. If not, then you can use savings. And I'm going to make that uh, my Chase. So Chase is the, the company that's handling all of the sales for me, for my customers, when they purchase on a credit card. So we don't add a credit card. That's, a credit card is for purchases. This is, again, the merchant account. So I'll say uh, sales on credit cards. I believe a money market would also work for this, but I think this is more accurate. And I'll choose save. And now I'm going to handle a couple of sales. So we handle that with receipts. Again, remember that receipts are payment at the time of sale. I've only got one. I'm going to quickly add my other customer here. This will be today, payment method, credit card, it's going into that account. And she's buying a Acer, Acer laptop, one of those, and a brother printer. Oh, I don't have a brother printer. I'm just going to quickly add that. And one repair service. So you notice, finally, we didn't see this with the test drive, but we're actually getting tax calculated based on, on our location, which is what I always leave it at. So we should have 872.79 for those three items. So I'm going to quickly save a new and do one more. And this one's for Marjorie. Same date. Credit card again. And Chase. And she's buying an HP laptop. Should be once I hit tab. Notice the tax isn't coming. There it is, eight eighty one ninety four. Perfect. And save and close. So the reason I was paying such close attention, something you won't need to see in real life, is that um, I'm going to be reconciling that account. So we do the same thing, accounting, reconcile. This time, I'll choose my Chase credit card account. Landing balance. We'll be getting this from the statement. Of course, it should add up to everything that we've sold. Um, minus a service charge, which is usually uh, one to three percent of the sales. I'm just going to use a flat rate, but uh, there'll be a service charge that the merchant charges you 
for all of your credit card transactions. So that was uh, 1739 decimal 73 as of today. And then the service charge today was $15. And there's a expense account we can use for that. General business, bank fees. So as we saw in the previous video on reconciliation, we had to enter this um, service charge via the general journal. But once you actually have a working copy of QuickBooks Online, not just the test drive, you can quickly add it at the point of reconciliation. Click Start Reconciling. And again, both of those transactions will appear in the statement that I get from my merchant account. Once you check them off, including the service charge, you should have a uh, difference of zero. And we can finish now. So uh, the other side of the same coin is purchases on a credit card. So this is where we actually add a credit card account. So this one will be a credit card. So credit cards are for purchases, not sales. Banks are for sales. And I'm gonna put that under credit cards. And it's got a credit card. And the account name is uh, Bank of America Visa. And I'm gonna say, just to make it perfectly clear what this is for, not to handle sales, but to make uh, purchases for anything we buy with a credit card. And I'll go ahead and choose save. And we'll go to sales, uh, sorry, purchases, expenses, A new transaction and in this situation we're going to use an expense so expense is uh, in this for credit cards is like the um, counterpart of AR sales receipt so I'm going to buy uh, something from Microtech presently have him so I'm just going to type in Microtech this is another way of adding a brand new vendor as soon as I hit tab it will ask me off an add I'm just going to choose save payment account is Bank of America Visa payment method credit card and their invoice number Microtech one two three four, and we're buying two Acers and two HPs. Oh, sorry, those aren't under the category; they're under the item. Should be 1159.80. Looks good. And I'll choose save and new. And then we're going to buy some gas for our car. So this is uh, Imperial Oil. There's a receipt number on that as well. And this time I'm going to use category. 
and we already have an account. Inner chart of accounts has given us to us, given to us with a stock chart of accounts, and we created this uh, new company. So that'll be under. all categories for us thank goodness there we go gas and fuel amount for that is 89.65 and save and close now again um, you, you will want to re reconcile your credit cards against the credit card statement as well to make sure that there's no transactions you didn't create yourself. So accounting reconcile this time. It is Bank of America. Bank of America Visa credit card. Ending balance again, you'll be getting this from the actual credit card statement, and that is one, two, four, nine decimal forty five as of today, generally at the end of the month. And then if you if you're the person who carries a type of person who carries a balance on your credit card you'll have some interest so you would add that also maybe you have an annual fee that you have to uh, pay you would add that here as well I don't have, have any of those I just purchased these items and I'm paying the credit card right away so I'm going to choose start reconciling and I'll just check those off and we should be at zero finish now at this point, it asks us, it gives us a, a, a prompts us to pay the bill if we like. I'm just going to go to, to that a different way. I, I'll, I'll arrive at the same place, but I'll show you how to do it um, a different way. Choose done. So under expenses, expenses, new transaction, we have pay down credit card. So that's how you pay off your actual credit card. Somebody was asking if it's like a transfer. It's exactly like a transfer. You could actually handle it, handle the same, um, this in the same, the same way using a transfer. And we're going to pay off Take that out of my first sound account and see and close. So that's basically it. Uh, creating a brand new bank account to handle your sales, handling credit card sales, reconciling that account, creating a brand new account, a credit card account for purchases, um, handling credit card purchases and reconciling that account and then paying off that credit card. Thanks so much for watching.